from the time. And there's no rule as to how to attack, uh, in the sense that after I've got through, right, um, I like to really bend my neck, my, my chest down, and then return using my spinal energy to come back and strike in. You come in with a palm strike, then step out, do a double gun style, and you know, or simply just coming through one, two, three. See from here, of coming in underneath my elbow, just like in the build seat form. So that's another option. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. And that's another variation as well. You can try that as well. It comes through one, two, three, four, five. All right, again. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so it's very good to get used to it, and as I'm doing the overhead elbow, I've already got a protection here. And I come straight through, hit him in. Boom. All right, so it depends. Boom. All right, one, that could be an option. All right, one, and then two. All right, one, and then two. Or one, and then two with the same arm. One, two, three. Is really important okay that's the first phase so now there are some uh, versions other lineages that apply the second motion a little bit differently um, we'll stick to the main one that we learn and so here we look at what, what happens and it's a little bit risky and I'll explain to you why when he comes in with the attack uh, what will stop here? What happens is at this point here, people feel that they're at risk, okay? Because the elbow has already come over the line of my uh, forearm, and so it's, it feels pretty close, right? So what some people do when it comes is that they try and resist, all right? And they try and stop. But if he does, if I come in and he tries to resist, then it's gonna make it a lot more easier for me to just throw his arm down, it's going to be more shocking to his body because part of his body is going to tense up. Right?